Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome back to another episode where I make a food dish that looks like a food dish, but in actuality, it's ice cream. If you missed my previous episodes, I've done two at this point, one of a steak and french fries and fried chicken that looks just like fried chicken, but when you bite into it, you find ice cream. Definitely check those out. So much fun, so cute. Put the links down below. Today, I'm going to be making a German classic, thanks to Callie and Denise, and several other lovelies who suggested that I make spaghetti ice. Spaghetti ice, it's not even spaghetti, it's ice cream. So spaghetti ice has a wonderful origin story. It was invented by a fellow named Dario Fontanella, who was a son of an Italian immigrant that came to Germany and invented this dish that looks just like spaghetti, but is actually ice cream. Oh, this is wonderful. So you can still purchase a plate of spaghetti ice in Mannheim, Germany at Fontanella's ice cream shop, or you can make it yourself at home because Mr. Fontanella did not patent the recipe. So I'm going to be making it today. Super excited because it's super fun. Instead of the noodles, we're going to have vanilla ice cream. And instead of the red marinara sauce, we're going to be using crushed up strawberries, of course. So I know this is gonna taste delicious. I just can't wait to make the noodles. Now to make the noodles, you're gonna need a little gadget. Dario uses a Spätzle press, which is used to make these kind of dumpling-like noodles in Germany. I am going to be substituting this. And this is a potato ricer used to make mashed potatoes or gnocchi, and it's similar. It's got holes in the bottom. It's basically kind of like a garlic press. And we're gonna press the ice cream through this and extrude strands of ice cream. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. It reminds me of those Play-Doh little toys. Yeah, where you made the hair and you went, mm, yeah, I can't wait, it's gonna be a blast. So in the refrigerator, I've got some store-bought vanilla ice cream that I've let soften up and we're gonna squeeze it onto a nice chilled plate. All right, let's enough talking about all this loveliness. Let's go ahead and make this. So we're gonna need some whipped cream. I'm gonna go grab a plate that I have cooling in the refrigerator because we need to make sure that everything is nice and cold. Plate, check. Chilled plate, shake it up, give us a pile here. Beautiful. That's gonna give us some height. It's also gonna give us some flavor and a little bit of contrast when we have the ice cream on top of the whipped cream. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna go put this back in the refrigerator. We're just gonna load this up. <laughs> I can't wait to use this to make mashed potatoes. This is supposed to be the best way to make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna load this up if I can get it to balance. I can't. Isn't that lovely? I can't get it to balance. Help me out, whipped cream. Okay, got a pint of ice cream here. Vanilla, because we want it to look like noodles. That's annoying. Okay. So it's kind of like a soft serve consistency. Right, I'm gonna load that halfway. Put the rest of this back in the fridge. While I grab my plate. I'm working a little bit more frantically than normal because everything is melting. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so awesome. It looks just like noodles. <gasps> look at that, look at that, look at that. That is so satisfying. Okay, quickly, I'm gonna place this back in the freezer. Place that back in the freezer to let it set up a bit and make sure everything stays frozen. Now we're going to make the marinara sauce or the strawberry sauce on top. Couldn't be any easier. I just have some strawberries all chopped up in here. And now we're going to puree them. That extrusion process was so fun, so fast. So, so fast. I have to make more spaghetti ice just so I can have a fun again. <laughs> I'm just extruding it. So great! I'm gonna use our handy dandy immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a potato masher. And smush, here we go. Step back. So I've been thinking about this recipe for a little while now, but I've been waiting until strawberries were in season because I wanted it to taste its best. So now that strawberries are here, it's time to make spaghetti ice. Okay, back to them. Mm-hmm. Here we go. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to help with the color retention. I might add a little sugar. No, I'm not, it's delicious. Oh, I love strawberries. And there we have it, look at that beautiful color. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, just use a regular blender. I think a potato masher might work, although after I've tried this, I'm not really sure you would get a really fine puree. But having a few chunks in there is also not a bad thing either. Now we're supposed to put this in the refrigerator and allow it to cool because everything needs to stay cool so our ice cream doesn't melt as quickly. Okay, let's go do that. Alrighty, so I have a swap out. This one has been chilling and the consistency is more fluid. You see that? Beautiful! <laughs> Can't wait! So the last part of the spaghetti ice is to top it with some cheese. And instead of cheese, we're gonna use grated white chocolate. <laughs> I have some pre-grated here and I used the fine grater on a box grater. And I also have my microplane with a piece of white chocolate here. So I think I might do a little bit of both. This will be really fine shavings. And these ones are a little bit more like what you would find in that green can. This would be such a fun little dessert to make with your kids. So much fun. It's very hot, so sadly my ice cream did melt a bit, but we're gonna work as quickly as possible. And now ladle our marinara right on top. <sighs> so much fun, oh my gosh. Okay, and now we're gonna grate some cheese. So funny. And sprinkle some cheese on top. Beautiful. And there you have it, spaghetti ice. <laughs> Alrighty, let's give this beautiful, delectable, playful dessert a taste. I'm gonna make this again and make sure that my plate is completely frozen and that maybe my ice cream should be a little bit colder. Itadakimasu. Oh, so, so good. You've got the soft, airy, light, fluffy whipped cream in the middle. And then you've got essentially vanilla soft serve ice cream on the outside. And then you've got the fresh strawberry puree on the outside that has a little touch of lemon in it. And then got little sprinkles of white chocolate, which you don't really taste as much as you have a little bit of texture. It's so good. <laughs> mm. You know what actually reminds me of? Do you remember that episode of Pee Wee's Playhouse when he makes ice cream soup? I always wanted to make ice cream soup and this is what I imagine ice cream soup kind of being like. Oh my gosh, I need to make that recipe. <laughs> Pee Wee's Playhouse was the, was the best. Okay, that was a major tangent, but this is delicious. Mm -mm. It's so flavorful and fun and light. It's also, a great way to eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> mm. I love how this playfully messes with your expectations. You see something you're like, that I think is savory, and then you eat it and you're like, nope, it's not, it's, it's a sundae. <laughs> mm. And that's essentially what this is. This is a sundae that is dressed up in the form of spaghetti. Mm. And it's delicious. <laughs> now it's just a melted pool of mess though. Oh my gosh. Mmm! Alrighty lovelies, there you have it, spaghetti ice. Absolutely delicious, delectable, playful, fun. Highly recommend making this one. I think this would be a hit with the kiddos. Summertime is just about here. Strawberry season is definitely here. Make yourself some spaghetti ice. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Italy. Thank you, inventors of ice cream. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>